What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. My name is Miles with Holiday World out of Dallas, Texas. And today, we are taking a look at this 2023 Grand Design Momentum 398M-R. R stands for residential refrigerator because it does have a non-residential refrigerator option as well. But this is going to have one of the largest garages you'll see in a toy hauler for 2023. Um, it's in there in the top two that I have seen with the largest garage spaces. Um, it's possible there may be something out there maybe I haven't seen, but you'll see what I'm talking about when we look at the garage in the back there. And it's really, really impressive. There's so much stuff to look at inside and out with this momentum here. And I'm really excited to look at it with y'all. So let's go. Hey, welcome back to another video. If this is your first time tuning into one of my videos, I'm super excited that you're here. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy. And if you do get something out of this video, consider hitting the like button down below and definitely hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. If you would like to connect with me on other social media platforms, links to my Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook are down below in the description where you can find other RV-related content that I upload regularly. And then finally, if you are interested in this RV, keep in mind I am in a sales position. I do not get paid by my company to come out here and make these videos. I just do this on my own own time in hopes of finding people like you that might be interested in this RV. So I would love to personally assist you in helping you make this RV yours. So you can either text me at the number on the screen there or there is a link down below in the description that you can fill out with some basic information that will help me best help you. So go down there and fill out that information if you are interested in this RV and let's get into the video. All right, y'all. So this is the 2023 Grand Design Momentum 398M-R. Again, that R standing for the residential refrigerator. And just so you know, I'm actually here at Holiday World of Willis today. So normally would be at my Mesquite location just outside of Dallas, about 15 minutes. But I had to come down to my Holiday World of Willis location to get videos of these Grand Design uh, Momentums and other Grand Design towable trailers that we do not sell at my Mesquite location. So although I do not sell these at my Mesquite location, would still love to help you out. So if you watch this video and you find something interesting, that you like out of this model and maybe you want more information, you need some purchasing information, or you wanna schedule a time to come take a look at this in person, there's a link down below in the description that you can go to. It'll be the first link that you see in the description that is my RV inquiry form. Now, if you wanna to talk to me directly, maybe you want some advice on different RVs to look at um, or anything that I can do to personally help you out, you can pick the Mesquite location and your contact information will pop up directly in my inbox or if you don't mind what salesperson you work with, if maybe you just wanna come down to this Willis location, you can select the Willis location there down in the description down below with that RV inquiry leak or our Katy locations, League City and Las Cruces locations all carry this model as well in this brand. So you can get it from any one of those locations if those are more convenient for you. However, I just ask that you go down and use that link down below because I did drive down here three hours just to make these videos for y'all. So if you enjoy the videos and if you see something you like out of this RV and it was my efforts and my uh, time coming down here to make this video for you, I'd really appreciate that you use that link. Because if you haven't watched my videos before, you may not know I am not actually getting paid to come down here and make these videos by my company. I am in a sales position, so I only get paid when I sell an RV. So if you appreciate my efforts coming down here to do this, use that link down below and that will let them know that you saw my videos and that is what led to you inquiring about this RV. So I can get some sort of credit, even if you do purchase from another salesperson. So, or maybe you're like, you know what? I love this RV, but that guy behind the camera, I don't really like him so much. And if that's the case, then you know what? You can just walk into one of these stores and just never tell them or never let them know that you saw one of my videos and that's okay too. But would definitely prefer to get some sort of recognition for the time I put into these videos. So use that link down below in the description. All right, that's my rant on that. Let's get, now that I got all that done, the momentum here is basically gonna be like your Grand Design Solitude um, fifth wheels that we've looked at in some of my other videos recently in a toy hauler uh, layout. Now, so you, that's gonna mean that you have the 100 inch wide body construction. So four inches wider than a lot of your standard RVs. Um, this is gonna be four inches wider than some of the other toy haulers we look at too, like say a Keystone Raptor. So a bit more space. Now, if you've been on my video a little, or you've been on my channel for a little while, you know that I look at the Raptor Infusions from Keystone a lot. And we're gonna look at a lot of the differences between this and those products as well, both good and bad. Because there's little differences between each one that kind of make them different from one another. And it's hard to say that one is definitively better than the other because each one of them does things differently. So one thing Momentum does differently is having that 100 inch wide body construction. Also has one of my favorite front caps, um, just with how aggressive this looks here. Really love that, love the big LED lights there. Now, one thing that I'm not such a big fan of is you have the Rhino pin box here, which is, I mean, it's a decent pin box. It's just really pretty basic. 
Um, this is gonna be on all your momentums. I don't know why exactly they use the Rhino pin box. Even something like this, when you look at the Grand Design Solitude, the Solitude is going to come with the Moride pin box that has um, your bushings there that are gonna absorb a lot of that chucking that this, this just doesn't have. This comes on the S-Class Solitude, which is the less expensive version of a Solitude. So I guess it's just a price point thing, but I think uh, Key the Keystone Raptor and Fusion both have a better pin box here than what this Rhino pin box is. So that's something that's just a little strange to me that this is what comes on here. Maybe there's a reason for that that I'm unaware of. Uh, maybe if you know that, let me know down below in the comments but would expect to see a little bit higher grade pin box, I suppose. Something more comparable with what's on like the Solitude. I do like that you have the two lights here though, seeing what you're able to do in this space right here. And then coming underneath here, you have your 5,500 watt Onan generator installed. You're gonna have your solar charge controller because this does have a solar panel up on the roof. And then your battery components here, hydraulic fluid and everything there in that front cap. You have your light switch here for the lights up front, the docking lights. You have this little um, rubber cover on here. I like that too, since your wheels from your truck could definitely splatter stuff up into this area and that's gonna keep that from getting dirt and debris in that switch there. Now coming along your campsite, you do have two awnings on this Momentum, one here covering the slide out and your outdoor TV. This is an area where the Momentum definitely wins because um, the, uh, let's see, the Fusion models that have from Keystone a spot for the TV outside do not actually come with a TV installed from the factory. So that's something you have to add yourself. You get that here with a TCL Roku smart TV directly from the factory. You also have the Rockford Phosphate, or Phosgate, sorry, the Rockford Phosgate marine grade speakers out here. And all underneath the awning. Plus you have the LED light strip above the door and LED lights up in the arm of the, or in the uh, sidewall connection part there of the awning. So whether your awning's in or out, you get use of that LED light. Then you have laminated sidewall here on your slide out boxes. Um, momentum and Grand Design in general, where they do the laminated sidewalls, definitely make sure you know to thump on there to know that is a more solid laminated sidewall. Slam latch doors for your storage compartment here, and you can see a lot of your toy haulers are gonna have pretty minimal storage space, um, but you do have uh, your battery disconnects in here. You have your aluminum framing that is welded on both sides of the frame connections. I'm just, yep, peek my head back there and double check, make sure and confirm. A motion activated light coming in, and then you have your, all your storage space in there. Nothing too crazy, but because of the length of the garage and the space on how everything is arranged in here, that's as big as the storage is gonna get outside there. Outlet, and you have a spray port here for an outside water source right on your campsite. You'll have six point hydraulic auto leveling. So four stabilizers in front of the axles and two more behind the axles. Then coming back here, one thing I really love about the momentum that definitely sets it apart from the um, both Fusion and the Raptor is that you get the Cooper H rated tire. Um, the uh, Raptor comes with a Saloon G rated tire and then the Fusion comes with a Goodyear Endurance tire that is E-rated. So this is gonna be your highest rated American-made tire that you can get on a toy hauler. Love that this comes standard with those. So that is a big deal. You have the Moride CRE 3000 suspension. Again, don't know why they don't go with the matching pin box, the Moride pin box, but that is what it is. But you do have a good suspension system there. Slide outs on this, you're gonna have the hydraulic rack and pinion style slide out mechanism. So that's going to go in and out real quick for you. And then um, this unit is prepped for the tire pressure monitoring system. It doesn't have it, but it is prepped for it. Coming back this way, you're going to have your second awning up over here. So second awning covering this door and then your patio set. I love the way they arrange the patio setting out here where you have kind of the corner spot right there and then this mechanism that has the patent pending definitely one of the better ones for snapping in your patio set you do have tinted glass doors with the screens going up to the patio there as well and then it is prepped for a backup camera with an awning coming over the back so a few differences between some other brands raptor comes with a backup camera already installed from the factory they're the only one i know of that comes with that installed from the factory and then one thing that is really strange to me with the momentums you don't have the legs here that make contact with the ground. So the fusions that we have, they're just a few down this way. You know, let's just, I wanna show it, just get it on camera here. 
the fusions, you can see they come with the legs right there. These will make contact with the ground when you put this down and then the fusion also has a keyed uh, lock right here. So this is an electric key that is going to unlock the door so that will come down. When you go back, oh, and then you see the Raptor here too where the Raptor has the backup camera and then you have the legs on that one too and that electric key as well to open it. Then you go back to the momentum and for whatever reason, the momentum, it does have the capability to add on those legs. So you could put them right there where those bracket pieces are, but it doesn't come with them installed. And I'm not sure why that is. It's a little strange to me. And then to open the door on a momentum, you do have the key right there. And then you would lift this up and pull those out. So whether or not that's a better system for opening and closing the garage door, I'm not sure. I think that's not really gonna make or break your experience. It is a little weird to me. It doesn't come with the legs installed though. So I don't know why that is exactly, why they make that decision. But other than that, definitely gonna have your setup out here to have great entertainment. You'll get a set of steps that'll allow you to come up into that space as well. And the momentum definitely wins because they give you two zero gravity um, chairs there. If you haven't seen the zero gravity chairs, look that up, but you'll get two zero gravity chairs with the momentum branding in the headrest. That is something that is a nice premium thing that it comes with. Those are not um, inexpensive chairs and it comes with those, which no other toy hauler I know of comes with chairs like that. You're gonna have brake and reverse lights on the back here. And then that's pretty much everything on this side. Let's come over to this side here. You have your ladder to get up onto the roof. So we'll go up there in just a second. You have your fuel station under here. So this should have a 60 gallons of fuel capacity, I believe. I actually, you know what? Before I went to go film this, I didn't look up for sure the fuel capacity. It's either gonna be 50 or 60 gallons. I know the Fusion and Raptor are 60 gallons. I would assume this is 60 gallons as well. I don't see any metric there measuring that though, but it should be 30 for your um, generator and 30 for your toys with the fuel pump right here as well. So you can turn your pump on and off there. Um, before we head further down this side, let's get up on the roof real quick and see what's going on up there. So this uh, ladder, just so you know too, you can pull these pins on it and that allows it to go flush against the wall there. So you have, so it's not sticking out while you're going down the road. Usually these ladders have about a 250 to 300 pound capacity on them. And then coming up here, you have your three Coleman Mott Q-Series ACs. Ooh, you have expanded solar on this one. So this looks like this either has a 400 or 600 watt solar system. I'll have to check. And this is the first grand design trailer I've seen that actually is prepped with a second plug for more solar. So that is nice to see a lot of the uh, solitudes that we looked at over here, they were not prepped with the other plug already installed to expand upon the solar system, whereas this momentum is. So, so far it looks like with grand design, that's something I've only seen on the momentum. Still haven't had a chance to film any reflections or imagines yet though. So we'll see if that's any different, but I'll see when we go inside if I can figure out exactly how much how, or how many watts of solar we're looking at here. But it looks like that might be a 600 watt system. So we'll find that out. Let's hop back down. All right, so as we keep moving around this side, coming down underneath here, you're gonna have your fuel, your fuel tanks there. Those always have to be open and exposed. But what I wanted to show you is the LED lights underneath here. So, and when I say these always have to be open and exposed, that's a safety concern there so that um, you don't have enclosed gasoline being stored somewhere on the RV in case anything were to happen. But these LED lights underneath here are really awesome, going to illuminate the space underneath your RV. These can change colors and do all kinds of cool stuff. So really love that. That's something that definitely sets the grand design apart or the momentum apart from like a Raptor or Fusion that do not have this option on them. And then you have your sewer hose storage compartment there as well. Now underneath the garage space here, they still do get a fully insulated garage space and it has a one inch thick flooring and then insulation there in the garage. So it is a fully insulated garage. If you're thinking about living in this thing full time or anything like that. Um, you do have a black tank dump valve here. I believe this is gonna be from the, um, the half bath that's in the garage. And then your other black and gray tank dump valves will be here on the other side of the axle. So two different dump stations on this momentum. 
Coming this way, another slam latch door there. You have the Nautilus water system. Definitely appreciate this because this is very small and compact. And you have this easy to follow legend to do exactly what you're wanting to do. Also equipped with a water filter right here that you can replace at any time. And you have outlet in here, um, satellite connections and an outdoor shower connection as well. All your auto leveling controls and your other propane bottle. Exact specs on this toy hauler here for the weight. You're looking at an unloaded vehicle weight rating of 15,824 pounds and then fully loaded it would go up to 20,000 pounds. Um, doesn't say exactly what your cargo carrying capacity is on there, but you can do the math. You're looking at about 4,200 pounds of cargo carrying capacity or so. So somewhere right around there. But that is pretty much everything on the outside. So let's go ahead and head inside. All right, so as we head inside here, you are gonna have the Moride solid step. For some reason, these steps are slightly more narrow than what you get on the uh, Keystone models that have the Moride step. I don't know why that is, but the Keystone ones come out more to like right here for some reason. So a little strange that they do that, but other than that, you have the screen door going in and then you're going to have um, your floor sweep right when you walk in here. So part of your central vac system there to sweep dust and debris into that step and just suck it right into the step. So I love that. Really nice looking living arrangement. You also have the LED lights in here that change colors. You can set these to stay as one color or you can put them in the uh, rainbow mode here just where they uh, transfer to different colors and looks really cool. Definitely gives it more of a party atmosphere in here that you don't get in the Raptor or Fusion. We're gonna come back to the living area actually because I wanna go to the garage first where you have this just about 17 foot garage to this space here. And you have what can be four different beds here. So you see, you have the two queen size beds that will drop down and then you have two sets of benches here. And then I have my wife here with me. She's gonna put these down so that you can see how those go down into the bed formation to make these into beds as well. So this can turn into essentially about four queen size beds, although these are definitely a lot longer than a queen because I'm six foot two and could have plenty of room and some to lay down on there. And then you also have legs down here that will make contact with the ground that come down for support. So really nice sleeping space that you get in here. This is gonna give you more sleeping space than any bunkhouse fifth wheel out there in the market, really any other RV in the market with those four queen size beds. And then I also like that with the momentum, you have these custom momentum seats here that are not just your standard uh, furniture that you would get back in a garage. So I love that they give you something custom there. As we walk back this way, you see you have another set right here, another set of beds and a table that it will come with as well that can go into these black legs right there. It'll come with some legs that will connect into this table to give you a table here as well. Now, say you don't want this bed down in the position, but you want these chairs down in the position they're at. You do have little holes right here that pins will go through. So when you have this all the way in the up position, you put a pin in there and that pin will hold that bed in place up against the ceiling. So you can move these chairs here independently from this bed. And then if you wanted to completely take these out, you could just take out this whole rail system here and remove these beds if you wanted to do that as well. But absolutely massive garage. Let's go out to the patio real quick. Then we'll kind of work our way back in. Come out to the patio. You have plenty of space here again tinted glass doors going to the patio as well awning that will come out and then you have your two chairs that it will come with now i want to point out from this point of view you do have a tv here in the garage as well this tv will swivel down to about this position here also if you wanted to do that and then coming back through here one thing that kind of disappoints me in the momentum with the garage space is all your tie downs only have a 2500 pound force here because they are screwed into the floor so the tie downs are screwed into the floor here in any Keystone fifth or in any Keystone toy hauler, even their most entry level toy haulers like a Carbon or Impact, they have welded to the frame tie downs with a 5,000 pound force. So this is half the force capacity that they can handle. I imagine if they're using this, they're probably not experiencing too many issues with it, but I don't know why they don't weld their tie downs to the frame um, to give it a much more secure hold for your toys. But nonetheless, if that is a big concern for you, the Carbon 398 from Keystone is going to have a 18-foot garage with a, with a bath that doesn't come into the garage space, 
that will give you welded to the frame tie downs instead of screwed to the frame tie downs. Now the only disadvantage with that is the carbon is like a lower tier version of what this is because Momentum, they do have two different uh, versions. They have the M class, which is what we're in right now, and the G class, where their G class is their stripped down version that's less expensive. Um, the carbon is like the less expensive version of a Raptor, and so far Raptor doesn't make an 18 foot garage model. So some differences there to look at, but if you come back up here, it's about a 17 foot garage again. This width from this wall to the side wall there is 73 inches. So anything that's within 73 inches wide can come up into this final space here. Unless you were to put a washer dryer here because a washer dryer is going to take up some space and this is where your washer dryer connections are. Now, one thing to keep in mind for this too, there is no spot here for a vent for a dryer. Um, as far as I understand, there's no spot for a vent there for a dryer. And you know what? I just made a discovery about the washer dryer connections. Grand Design does put um, this center line for dryer vent right there. So it looks like on something like this, you would have to run the dryer vent to like that sidewall right there. This is something I've recommended to people before where they can just run a dryer vent outside of the RV if that's something they're really wanting to do. So I just noticed that I moved the beds up so you can see what this garage looks like with the beds up real fast and put this over to the side here as well. Um, Cause you do have like an outlet there that we didn't look at an outlet here as well. And then your nice big garage space in here. So that's how those beds will go up. And then one last thing that's really unique that I've never seen before, you actually have backup camera prep here in the garage as well. So obviously this wouldn't be for backing up something, but this would be more, I would assume, more like a uh, security camera for if you have kids in here. If you have kids sleeping back here, you can put a camera system right here. You keep the monitor for, monitor for that up in your bedroom and that way you can watch the kids and just make sure they're staying safe back here if they're sleeping back in this space so if you have other ideas for use for this camera space let me know but that's what i imagine that would be used for now in this model i'm pretty certain that this half bath is an option that is added in here and so you have the half bath back in here this is a porcelain toilet and you're going to have a sink in here outlet light switch and a mirror, plus a window there to vent out any smells and just give you a nice view. Now, obviously that eats up some of your length here. So if you're looking for a true 17 or 18 foot garage, the Carbon 398, it actually has a second full bathroom with a bathtub and shower that goes flush against this wall and the entire garage is going to be 18 feet long. So something to keep in mind as well. Now, Coming into this space in the Carbon 398 that I was just talking about, you will have a smaller living space because of that bathroom taking up space there. So the way they do the bathroom in this one allows you to have the larger living space in here with a nice island kitchen and a good amount of countertop space in a fifth wheel toy hauler with this big of a garage. You also have the loft up overhead here that will go all the way to the back wall. You can see you have outlets and USB ports up there. You have nice solid surface countertops, two sink covers for your sink. You have this kind of split farm sink, but it's only halfway split with the black faucet, same ones we see in the solitude. You know what, sometimes you just never know what you're gonna get with an RV and for some reason, this hose is just not wanting to go back up in there. So I'll have to play around with that and look at that in just a second, but I'm not gonna fight with it too much. In the momentum, you get an actual tile backsplash. So if that's important to you, that is something you're not gonna get in a Raptor or Fusion where this gives you an actual tile backsplash. So they're definitely winning on that. And you get the LED light strip back here shining onto that backsplash. You have all your storage all throughout here. So a nice big storage space, all unobstructed throughout. Glass doors, no soft closed cabinets, unfortunately, unfortunately, like you would get in the Fusion and the Raptor. Um, don't know why they don't do the soft closed cabinets, but you don't have those on here, unfortunately. And then looking at the MSRP sheet on here real quick, let's just knock the price out real fast. You can see all the options that were added on here, give you a second to take a look at that. And the MSRP is 164,399. So that is the MSRP price. That is not reflective of our sales price here, which will be different than the MSRP price. Now, if you missed it at the beginning, I am in a sales position. So 
I do not get paid to come out here and make these videos of these RVs by my company. I'm only paid when I sell an RV and I actually drove three hours down here to make these videos of these grand design RVs that are here at our Willis location that aren't at my Mesquite location just outside of Dallas. So I took time away that I could have been trying to sell an RV just to come out here and make these videos for y'all in hopes that someone like you might see this video, say, you know what, this is the RV for me. And hopefully you like me enough and I've built up enough trust in you that you can trust coming to me for your RV purchasing experience. And will reach out to me when you're ready to get your next RV. So if that's the case, there is a link down below in the description that you can go to. It'll be the first link that you see in my description. That is my RV inquiry link. So if you would like to talk to me and work with me directly, you can select the Mesquite location going through that link and that'll allow your information to pop up in my inbox so I can get in touch with you as soon as I possibly can. And I can help you out whether you're looking at this model here or wanting to compare models or whatever it may be. And you also, if it's more convenient for you, just know this is the RV you want. Know this one, hey, is here at our Willis location just outside of Houston. Um, we also carry this brand in our Katy, League City, and Las Cruces locations. You can select one of those locations if you don't, don't mind which salesperson you work with and they will be able to get you all the information you need. The only thing I ask is that you go use that link down below because if you do not and you just show up here at one of these stores looking to purchase this RV and it was my video that inspired you to do so, I will not get any credit for that. So I would really appreciate it if you use that link down below and appreciate my efforts to make these videos for y'all. And that's the only way I can really protect myself to make sure that they know that you came from seeing one of my videos if you do pur purchase from another salesperson other than myself, which is totally fine if you wanna do that too. But Let's continue on, sorry about that spiel there, just trying to minimize the amount of times that unfortunately I have people say, oh, you're the reason that uh, we bought the RV that we got. And they're literally standing in my store talking about how they just bought their RV from another salesperson in the same store that I'm at because they didn't know that I was in a sales position. And so that's kind of unfortunate. I also wanna give you a great experience with purchasing your RV. Um, I don't know absolutely everything in the world about RVs, but I think I know quite a bit and can definitely help you out and hopefully give you a great experience with purchasing your RV. But that's it there. Um, solid surface island countertop here as well. Coming down underneath here, you can see it comes with this one bar stool there. And then you also have a bar stool here as well. You have a nice fireplace here that's gonna have four different color options and will be an electric heat source for you. So you can get electric heat out of that fireplace. Another cool thing that kind of separates the momentum is you have this Rockford Fosgate audio control system that's going to give you both a EQ for your punch and a EQ for, or a, and a volume knob for your garage. So you have a punch EQ here so you can kind of really customize the sound in your toy hauler here. Obviously these things are built to party in so that definitely gonna help out with that. You have some slide in and light switches there and awning controls as well, USB port. And that's pretty much it in this panel there. A TCL Roku smart TV that you have here. This is a 50 inch screen TV. It is on a swivel mount so you can move this thing around. And then you have your storage up above here. That goes all the way up. Um, you have some bathroom storage back behind this panel there. That's why you don't see that. And then you have LED light strips up there as well. You have another bar stool. You have a pop-up USB and outlet port right here that just pops right up. You can see some of your features here on this momentum. And then where the momentum definitely wins against the fusion of uh, carbon Raptor impact, it has the Insignia four burner stove with the biggest oven you can get in an RV. Have yet to see this in any other toy hauler that I carry at my Dallas store, which I wish I would, but if the oven is super important to you, if having this four burner stove is super important to you, gotta go with a momentum. If that doesn't matter so much, you can still look at some of the other options, but so far momentum is the only one I'm seeing that I carry that is going to have that Insignia four burner stove and bigger oven. Then you have your residential microwave in here, not a convection oven, just a standard microwave. Now, one thing to keep in mind too is like the Fusion, for instance, has a Suburban that has almost the exact same size oven. It just doesn't have the four burner stove. So there are some close alternatives. Then going to the refrigerator, you have the GE refrigerator. I love the GE because it does have the water dispenser on it. We are not level here. So these doors just wanna go all over the place. But you'll have a bit, nice big refrigerator, nice big freezer that will also have the ice tray in it as well. So you can uh, have an ice maker in here. 
and then close that up. One thing to keep in mind, because I just had this happen to my dad, unfortunately. My dad has a Keystone Cougar fifth wheel. He has the French door refrigerators. And I kid you not, he just sent me a picture yesterday of his doors flying open while he was transporting his RV. He had all his food in there and eggs cracked all over his RV and things like that. So make sure with a residential refrigerator, you're always doing this before you transport where the um, momentum is going to give you the strap here to hold the doors closed. Same with your freezer as well. You have the strap here to hold your doors closed. A nice little touch using this pull string there to make that easier. So they do think about little things like that that I love. And then finally, nice little pull out storage space that you have next to the oven. Oh, and in the island too, more storage here. Um, finally, you're gonna have your Thomas Paine collection furniture here, the four recliner sofas. So you have your heat and massage controls on the end seats there. You also have your light controls. Um, see if there's anything else special going on here. Doesn't look like it too much. Then you'll have your pull strap for those to recline. All four of them will lay back flat as well. So you'll have that nice, comfortable recliner. And all four of these will recline the exact same. Nice big campsite windows. I love the LED lights in the Momentum as well. They're a very like bright white, kind of like a um, cool white tone. And I love that they put these little handles here so you can find your nightshade to pull that down. So nice little touch there as well. So you'll have nightshades on all your windows in here. Um, you'll have three ACs in the Momentum. All three of them are going to be ducted together. Um, that's going to be the same with the Keystone and the Raptor as well. Although in the key, in, in, uh, sorry, the Raptor and the Fusion. However, and the Raptor and the Fusion, they do an independent AC back here. So I guess not all three are ducted together. Now, the reason they do the independent AC back here is so if you have any toys with gasoline or anything like that back here, it's not cross-contaminating that air into the space in here. So that's something that I think all three of these are ducted together. It looks like they have it here, which they claim gives you better airflow, which I can definitely understand that. But you can have some cross contamination with your smells coming back from the garage into the living space, I would imagine with that. Now, another thing I'm surprised to see on the grand design since they are using the Coleman Mach ACs is they don't have the residential air filter in them like the Keystone products do that use the Coleman Mach Q-Series ACs. So not sure why they don't have the residential air filter in the Momentums, but that's something you have in the Keystones where they have that Merv 9 grade residential, residential air filter to give you cleaner air. Now that I'm thinking about it, I think I forgot to show this storage up here too, above that space. And then nice big pantry that is LED lit as well. So you have that there. Okay, let's get out of the living space. Do you have Wi-Fi capability? So you can install a Wi-Fi router right there for Wi-Fi on the road. Nice big step going up into the bathroom. That 100 inch wide body construction gives you a nice wide step here as well. Um, you're gonna have breakers and fuses. And then you have a really nice LCI panel here. This is where you can see I was controlling the lights. This is where you can set those lights to get that rainbow mode there. And then all of your controls will be right here that will also link to your phone. All right, last couple things going into the bathroom. You're going to have one of the best looking showers in any toy hauler in the Grand Design Momentum with this really beautiful looking shower head there. Gives you three different zones that water can come out of. These here, the rainfall shower head and the wand here on the side. You also have built-in shelving for different soaps, a fiberglass one-piece shower that goes all the way up to the ceiling line there. So I love that. You have a wooden bench here that can hold about 300 pounds. Flip that up, that'll stay in place. And then this actually can also be about a foot deep tub if you plug that drain because they drop the floor of the shower to the same floor height that you have outside of the shower. So that's a little different as well. That allows me to step in here and still have the same exact ceiling height that is about 6'5 to 6'6 six, six in this space, plus another three inches in here. So you could easily be about 6'8 and comfortably fit in here. And then stepping up to this space, this is easily over my head, so I wouldn't have to duck to get under here. And I'm 6'2 for your point of reference. Would not have to duck to get under here. I think you'd have to be about 6'3 or 6'4 to have to start ducking to get under that spot. But you do also have the wand in here as well. So this is gonna be, when it comes to just overall shower height, in a shower in a toy hauler it doesn't get any taller than this if this isn't a tall enough shower for you i mean i don't know anything out there that's going to be taller than what this is here now coming into this space little storage there 
You have a nice towel hook here, kind of a two-tiered towel hook system. Vent fan in here, not something too big, but you do have a vent fan that can be upgraded to a max air vent fan if you want to do that. You have your porcelain toilet. A soft closed toilet seat in the main bathroom. Didn't have this in the half bath. Storage underneath the sink there. You have your, this looks like a, yeah, plastic bowl sink in the bathroom. And then you have your three tiered medicine cabinet, nice big mirror. And then this is like a faux tile backsplash with an outlet there. Finally, going into the bedroom, actually one last thing, you have a sliding pocket door coming out right here that will go to that magnet. And then going into the bedroom, this looks like a king size bed in here. Nice king size bed. I love the look of the bedroom and the momentums. They are pretty much always doing the north and south beds in here, giving you a nice big wardrobe closet. But this is basically split down the middle, identical wardrobe storage on both sides. So it could be like a his and hers. And then really nice looking uh, bedroom colors and things like that. Really big window here as well. You can pull this down to have your privacy shade. You're going to have storage up under the bed. There's your legs for the table in the garage. Uh, storage goes all the way to the front cap, all framed out in here. You can see you have a nice little lip under there too for storage. Lots of lighting in here as well. Um, you can see you even have those two lights that are not on right now, the blue LED light in the back storage up above the bed all through there and then an, a bigger nightstand table on this side so you'll have outlets and USB ports on both sides of the bed um, bigger table on this side with your light switches some storage space underneath here and then a nice looking soft headboard there as well oh there's your light switches for those lights there there you go and just a nice curve to that. It's also like flat on the back. It's not like swooping over or anything. So that's kind of nice as well. You do have this little lip here though. So you wouldn't really be able to sit up perfectly straight there. Unless you're short enough to. Maybe you're short enough to, then you can. A little window here so you can let a cross breeze go through. And then you have all of your big wardrobe storage. Whereas you can see, it'll be identical on both sides. You have all your hanging space. And then you have your two pull-out drawers. So that'll be the same identical storage on this side. You have your third AC in the bedroom, two AC vents here. Feels nice, that blowing on me right there. And then you have a nice big wall here to set up a TV. So if you did want to put a TV there, you could fit a pretty sizable TV on that wall as well with your hookups all right there. And you have slide out controls for your slide outs and nice glass looking solid hardwood. Everything in here is solid hardwood that we're looking at as well. So keep that in mind. And that's pretty much everything. All right, y'all, that's all I got for you. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button down below and definitely hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you are interested in this RV, again, keep in mind I am in a sales position. Drove down here three hours to make these videos for y'all. So if you appreciate my efforts, um, definitely reach out to me and I would love to help you out in purchasing your next RV. You can use the link down below in the description. And whether you pick my Mesquite location or the Willis location that we're at here, that'll let whoever contacts you know that you saw one of my videos. And if you pick the Mesquite location, I'll be able to work with you directly as well. And that's pretty much all I got. Sweat my butt off in here. It's about 105, 110 degrees in this RV. So hopefully you appreciate that. And until next time, I'll see you out camping.